color of the year is peach fuzz. It's only right we talk about some peach blushes. Hey guys, today we're talking all about blush. One of my favorite steps in my makeup routine. I feel like it completes every look. Beautiful, peachy tone blush. I think this is perfect for spring and summer that's coming up. So I wanted to share with you guys all of my faves. Honestly, I've been reaching for peach blushes and like more of the neutral beigey nude type of blush for such a while. I was definitely on that hot pink trend for quite a bit, but a peach blush looks the most flattering on myself. So we're gonna jump right into this. I feel like I have nine favorites to share with you. So. Buckle up. If you've never tried a peach blush before, you're in for a treat. I just think that they're so pretty. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you leave. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it is at blissfulbrie with an underscore. I love the way my makeup looks right now. I love the lip that I applied and the blush tone that I applied. So I also have one that's more so terracotta-ish, a little bit on the deeper side, but I have to throw it in because I use it all the time. I have drugstore high-end powder and a liquid blush to share with you. So I feel like I have a good mixture, a good roundup, if you will. First one being the NARS liquid blush. This in the shade Brazen is so pretty. It is more of the corally peachy blush, but when it's applied and blends into the skin, it doesn't come off as corally as you see on the applicator. It definitely appears a little bit more coral-like, a little bit more like bold, I guess. Very vibrant, but once it's applied onto the skin, it melts in so beautiful. It has that corally peachy look, but it's not overpowering at all. And I feel like it goes with so many skin tones, melts in and looks incredible, whether you're doing a glowy look, a matte look. Again, I just feel like these are perfect for spring and summer. It's so fresh and youthful. I actually have it on today underneath my powder one. I go in with more of a liquid or cream blush first, like middle of my makeup when I'm at the cream products and then when I go in with powder then I'll go in with the powder blush at the end to kind of set that down but also make it pop a little bit more. Blush for me is always the first product to fade and I feel like it's like that for most people so I do like to go in with more of a heavier hand when applying and then it kind of like shears its way down. This one in the shade Brazen is so so pretty. It's definitely more of that bright coral tone but I'm telling you looks more peachy tone to me. Pretty much the brightest one I'm going to share today. I have other ones that are a lot more neutral and nude and look more like a true peach tone. So this one's a little bit on the brighter side, totally recommend. Of course, there's dupes that are a lot cheaper, but the NARS ones you cannot go wrong with. So really love that shade. If I had to pick one of them out of this entire collection I'm about to share with you, this one has to be the number one. This is Makeup Forever Anywhere Peach. This is just like your true peach shade where it almost appears like a peachy nude. Color of the year for 2024 is Peach Fuzz. So peach is gonna be everywhere. Peach is gonna be throwing your face with clothing, with makeup this year. It's gonna be the color of spring and summer so get ready but this shade right here is like that true light peach shade and I love this appears a little bit more matte like I'm actually wearing this as well today I'm wearing a mixture because I'm obsessed with blush <laughs> this one is more of like that mattifying blush which is so stunning on the cheeks especially if you're gonna use a few different blushes and you're gonna put it in between the other one like I like to kind of put it right here they call it mid-tone blushing so you would put it right over here and it kind of melts in with your setting powder and looks stunning a little bit towards the underneath of the eye a little bit towards over here it is gorgeous i'll apply a little bit more right now and the brush that i like to use for blush right now is the repper number four brush so perfect it's just like a perfect angle so i love this because if i just popped it right here it's like mattifying that area keeping the corner of the eye and all of this that's marrying together. So seamless, so beautiful, almost an airbrush effect. This shade is just 10 out of 10. Like if you're gonna go get one, please go get this. It is so, so gorgeous. And makeup artists use it all the time. I have so many other ones from Makeup Forever that I love as well that are not in the peach family, but they all have that kind of like mattified airbrush effect. You can even wear it more for like a bridal look as well because it's not overpowering and it just looks so Pretty. Also, I know I'm gonna get questions on my lip color. I did do a few different lip liners today, but I'll link them down below for you. And then I put over top the Patrick Toss Superficial Gloss. Stunning, literally stunning. And I think ties together with any peach look, so beautiful. So an oldie but a goodie is Milani Luminoso Blush. Just one of those that's kind of like your blush and highlighter all in one. It's a baked blush, so you cannot go wrong with this because it gives a little bit of sheen to the skin while giving that peachy glow. It is just, come on. It's beautiful and I go a little overboard with this. I'm not gonna lie because it has that really pretty glow to the skin where it looks so natural coming from within with a little bit of that peach color. It looks like I just stepped out of the sun type of vibe in the summer. Oh my goodness, chef's kiss, like you need this. This is one of those blushes that I like to say is a topper for me. So I'll go in with a few different blushes and then put this over top of that blush. I'll put it in the area where I always place my blush but I'll put it a little bit higher. So it's almost acting like my blush and highlighter all in one since it is that baked formula. 
so beautiful, loaded with pigment and honestly doesn't fade as fast as my other ones do. I think it's because it's more of that baked formula and it has a little bit of that luminosity to it. This is also one I would say is great for beginners if you're just starting out with peach blushes and you never really dabbled in them before. This is great because it's a two-in-one product basically and it looks so natural but radiant on the skin giving a little bit of that hint of peach. So affordable, it's drugstore and it does remind me of a MAC one. Another affordable one is going to be from e.l.f. Now this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. If you're using this specific shade it is so good and so worth it. If we're talking about peach blushes this is so pretty. It again has a little bit of that sheen to it so it reminds me a lot of the Luminoso one just in a liquid form. This is in the shade Candlelit. It's on the little sponge applicator. Definitely your true peach tone with a little bit of shimmer to it. So healthy looking and blends to the skin literally like butter. It is more of the blush highlighter kind of duo for me so I'll apply it when I'm doing my cream products and then go in with something over top. If I'm going to use this then I'm going to probably use a baked blush or one that has that similar highlight and blush all in one over top. For summer, if you're just wanting to pop this on, you're gonna want this because it's so easy and can be done on minimal makeup looks, can even be done on more glam looks. The Virgo in me wants to scream because the phone was sitting there the entire time. I know that doesn't bother anybody else, but it bothers me that I know it was just sitting there. I don't want that there. Is anyone else like that? Oh my goodness. Laura Mercier can do literally no wrong whether it comes to powders, blushes, lip products, complexion, literally everything is so flawless to me. So this one is in the shade Bellini and this is their blush color infusion. I've had this baby for years. This is one of the blushes that I used to use when I didn't want to apply a blush. If you know me and you've been watching my channel, I never really loved blush years ago. I'm talking years ago. Always skipped out on that step. And I'm looking at myself now, I'm like, that's a problem because I'm obsessed now. So I don't know how I ever did that, but I just wasn't a fan. So when I did use blush, I always reached for something like this where it was super neutral, but still a little bit of that peach tone, a little bit of sun-kissed vibe. I wore blush to not look like I wore blush, if that makes sense. I didn't want it to look like it was pink on my cheeks. Funny enough, years later, I became obsessed with that. But this reminds me a lot of the Makeup Forever one because it's more of that airbrushed kind of finish and super natural-like. Very, very stunning, a very light application. Again, can look really great for bridal or any event that you have that you know you're gonna be photographed because it's not like, it's just a little subtle hint, a little bit youthful, a little bit alive looking, very flawless. And again, this goes on really nice and powdery almost where it looks airbrushed. Not powdery where you're getting no pigment, powdery where it's like, okay, it's blending into the skin. It looks super airbrush looking, very flawless. Everything looks so cohesive together. And this one is very similar to this one to me, but a little bit more peachy and this one's a little bit more neutral, but very, very similar. Formulation's really similar as well. Another one that has more of that finish as well by Kylie Cosmetics, and this is the shade Crush. Now there's two different shades that is more of that peachier vibe. This one's a little bit more on the neutral peach. And then there's also a true peach that they have as well, a little bit deeper a little bit more like orangey peach. And again, more of that powdered airbrush kind of finish and looks super similar to those as well. I have a good variety of peach blushes that I love. This one's a little bit lighter, whereas the Laura Mercier is a little bit orangier, pulls a little bit more of like a deeper tone where this one is looking a little bit more like a washed out version of that. There's nothing wrong with that. It depends on what vibe I'm going for. If I'm using it with another one or if I'm doing it like mid-tone blushing where I'm applying it, a little bit more where my setting powder is to marry them together and look super seamless. So it just depends on what I'm going for, but this is really, really pretty as well. And again, more of that powdered finish. A very nice airbrushed feel. I'll apply a little bit, a lot of pigment to this as well. So I'll usually apply this one right here and bringing it up and it just blends in so seamless with the powder, with my other blush and it just looks so pretty. I feel like there's no other way to describe these but that, but if you get it, you get it. Like, it just looks super airbrushed and so flawless. Another one that has a little bit more of a mineralized finish to it, which they call a bronzer, which I think is so cute, is the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Kiss of Copper. This is more of a coppery peach shade. I wouldn't say it's like a light peach shade like all these I've showed, but it's more of like a deeper kind of tone. It's still very much in that peach family for me and has a little bit of that luminosity, a little bit of that sheen to it. So it's really giving the cheeks a nice effortless glow, but I'll use this again as a topper. So I'll go in with the other ones first and apply this a little stamping motion right on top. Most pretty subtle glow to the skin without being highlighter. You know, it's just a little bit and it looks so natural and so pretty on the cheeks. So the fact that this is a blush and bronzer duo together is like the best thing ever. I just love when they're like mixed together like that. And of course, if it has a little bit of that sheen to it, like 
so pretty, so effortless looking and can get away with so many different makeup looks. You can do it on a very simple, no makeup makeup kind of day or build it up to your glam look and it just looks so stunning. So do not sleep on these bare mineral ones. I feel like they're not talked about enough and I literally love it. I definitely feel like these are all peach, but I totally feel like I included a little bit of ones that have more of that warmer tone to it. So don't mind that, but these are just so, so stunning. Now my last two are gonna be from Persona. One, I will put a little disclaimer out there. I feel like I saved the best for last, but it's completely broken. It's shattered. I'm so sad about it. If I open it, it's probably gonna go everywhere. I'll do a little sneak peek for you, but I still use it. We get the job done. Like, I don't care if it's broken or not, I'm gonna use it. So we have the shade Georgia and Terracotta. Georgia is the peach shade. That is like what it's defined as on the site. It is more of like a pinky peach to me. So it's a little bit lighter, has a little bit of a luminosity to it as well, but not like the bake ones. This just has a little bit of a sheen to it in the slightest way. And it just looks really, really healthy on the cheeks. So I will sometimes use this as a topper as well. Sometimes you just use it by itself, but this one's really pretty as a topper too. Little sparkle to it. So it's really giving that like lit from within kind of look and just looks really, really pretty in the summer. So Georgia is bomb, but my all time favorite, which is totally not a peach, but we're gonna pretend it's peach, okay? It's the shade terracotta, so it is a terracotta color. But to me, this reminds me of like more of a bronzy type of blush. And that's been one of my favorites right now. So I reach for this a ton. And it is just, to me, looks like it's more of a deep peach color. Like that's a tragedy. <laughs> that is terrible. It fell, it broke, but I've been making it work. I'm not throwing this out. I'm gonna use it up. This is such an epic color. It is more of like that deeper tone. It's more like a burnt orange. I wasn't really gonna talk about it cause it's not really peach. But to me, this is one of the tones that I would use in the summer. More of like that sun-kissed look. To me, it's a part of the same family and looks very similar. And I only use a little bit cause it's super pigmented. A little bit goes a really long way. So I don't, you know, get the full effect of terracotta if that makes sense. So if you're looking to do that, get your hands on it and just use a little bit. I mesh all my blushes in with my bronzer, like I said, so they'll just be married together. Just gives such a pretty look on the cheeks. And I mentioned this so many times, but when I apply my blush, I love to apply the blush right here. I'll take it and I'll apply a little bit higher than the bronzer. So typically where my highlighter is placed, and it sits right here, it goes in an upwards motion up into the temple, and the rest of it I just kind of fluff right here. And that just gives such an uplifted look to the face. Totally depends, it also depends on face shape and all of that. If you want me to do a full video on like placement and what's do's and don'ts for specific placements for the look that you're trying to achieve. Let me know if you wanna see a video on that. But these are all my favorite blushes that are more of the peach, deeper peach, a little bit of that warm, nude, neutral type of tone. Perfect for spring and summer. I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of those. Peach is the color of the season, so definitely get your hands on a peach blush if you don't own one. I feel like you're going to love it. Just saying. I'll leave all of these linked for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you in my next one.